All right, now here's a look at the. This is my third machine that I've built. It is quite different from my first two. This one is actually built with a completely self contained flat screen and small computer based monitor. It's an, it's an old Dell that was just perfect for a flat screen. Um, I got the. I'm sorry, for a touch screen. I got the touch screen on eBay for. $99. This one is just an overlay where my last machines were actually a full glass touchscreen monitor. This is an overlay on top of a CRT. And you'll see it's a, it's a much thinner cabinet and I have really fixed all the mistakes of the past. My The design that I didn't like in the old machines are now fixed in the new. One thing that I changed is there's a small little button here. This powers the machine on. You can hear it starting to boot up. I made this one a little more angular from the angle of the screen itself. It just seemed like it would fit better, the design. So I you know, cut the corners off down here and just made it a little bit more square, but it's, it's really fitting for the angles that are, were there. Now while it's booting up, I'll show you the back, some of the other things I fixed. Of course, I have some air holes to let the the heat out. It doesn't get doesn't get very hot or anything like that. One thing I did was this one has a nice keyboard. The machine, the computer itself, came with this wired keyboard, which I'm not a big fan of. But it has a little tiny mouse built in there, like a, a laptop mouse. So I decided I was going to keep this keyboard just because it was perfectly fitted for this. Now, if I really did need a mouse, I need to right click or anything like that. I can just pull this keyboard out and it hangs on the back hiding the back here where you can get to extra USB ports, the power if you needed to, the wireless antenna if the signal started to get low. One thing that I didn't like about my last design was that if I wanted to get into the case I had to remove screws. One problem was you could see the screw holes, I did not like that and the other problem I had was it was, a pain. it was a pain to remove screws. So this time, as you can see, there are no lines whatsoever. If there were any lines, they were completely sanded out and filled. If there were any screw holes, they were totally filled. There's not a single hole on the entire machine. And the way I set this up is, if you pull, it's just in there with um, some cabinet brackets. It hangs in there. So I can pull the whole back off and you saw how easy it was. And now I can get to the computer itself if I needed to, to get in there to do anything. Which I haven't yet and I don't think I'll ever have to. Because the USB ports are right down here. Now, this thing that looks a little hacked right here, the computer itself had a front two front USB ports and the microphone speaker jacks up front on its case. So all I did was tear that out got rid of the plastic, I didn't need the casing, and I just screwed this back here so I had two extra USB ports. This one is for the touch screen, and this one is for the the wireless antenna. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back one-handed. You can see, great finish. I really, this one is my favorite. It's a shame um, I actually made this for a friend. So I've got to give this one away. It's, it's not going to be my baby. I've still got the old one. Let's spin that around. On Lazy Susan again. I do love Lazy Susan. Now, you can see this one is much... It's not nearly as busy as the other one was. I only put a few things on there. And I also have it set so that it automatically goes into a casino game. All he told me he wants it to do is play video poker. That's it. Can't imagine that once he sees what it can do, he'll he won't want to play other games. So I put them on there, but it automatically starts right up into into a casino, and all he has to do is go to his video poker here, and there you go. I mean, it's it even has casino sounds. You feel like you're in there. So I'm gonna bet the maximum here, and I'll hold. 
Uh, let's live dangerously here. Eight, nine, jack, queen. Let's go for the ten. A uh, pair of jacks. That's not bad. Threes. Two pair. And if you wanted to get out of there, you can just exit this game. And you shoot you a quick little ad. And then that's it. This does everything that the other one does. It's just as nice. Although I'm sure you can see there on the screen with the bright light that's above it, there is a glare. I'm sorry, the bright light that's behind me, there's a glare. Um, but it's just the type of touch screen it is. In person, as I'm standing in front of it, there is no glare whatsoever. It is perfectly clear and looks great. If there were a glare, I definitely would have gotten rid of it because that makes me crazy. So that's my third design there. I'm very proud of this one. Uh, it came out perfect. Not a single flaw so far. And when you're done playing, you just, just like any other Windows machine, just shut it down and it'll turn itself off.